I'm Herman Toothrot. Don't bother to say hello. I've only been waiting 20 years to talk to somebody civilized. I don't mind. Fine. By the way, you might want to think about putting out that fire. Someone could be hurt. Notice of public meeting. There will be a meeting Wednesday evening to discuss the recent occupation of the sacred monkey head by the ghost pirate LeChuck. And the subsequent impact on the environment and the tourist trade. All Monkey Island cannibals are encouraged to attend. It's yellow. That's strange. It says Sea Monkey. That's strange. It says Sea Monkey. I don't have anything to paddle with. Mmm, those are some luscious looking bananas. They look like they're almost ready to fall off the tree. And I can't reach that from here. Deep. Dark. Forbidding. I bet you can see the whole island from there. The trail ends here. It's rusty. I don't think it'll work. Black and explosive. Just the way I like it. There are three holes in it. Good, strong stuff. Warning! Objects in spyglass may be farther away than they appear. Hey! Nice spyglass! Looks just like... Say, where is my spyglass? Oh, perfect! I'm gone five minutes and somebody comes in here and dumps gunpowder all over the floor. Naturally, I don't think you had anything to do with it. I'm sure it's just a coincidence that you came in here to prowl around right after some mysterious person dirtied up my nice clean floor. I saw a monkey leaving here. He must have done it. You don't fool me, Sonny. Um, sorry. Um, I'm afraid I must be going now. Pressing business, you know. Printed on letterhead. To the ghost pirate LeChuck. We must ask you once again to curtail your nightly activities in the sacred monkey head area. Decent people are trying to sleep. Kindly keep the noise level down. The Monkey Island Cannibals. P.S. We saw you taking that woman with the scarf down there. Look at that fabulous ship out there! Did you come in that? 
You're braver than you look. Actually, it looks a lot like a ship I used to own. I got taken by a guy named Stan. Stan of Stan's used ships on <laughs> Melee Island? <laughs> Are you some kind of a castaway? What do I look like? The caretaker? <laughs> Listen to this guy. Am I some kind of castaway? <laughs> Who are you talking to? Why, the people watching, of course. Uh, um, sure. I thought this island was uninhabited. Well, you thought wrong. My name's Toothrot. Herman Toothrot. I live here. Well, not right here. In the fort on the volcano. Were you stranded? You think I stay here for my health? Oh boy! There's a message in it. It's a memo. To Herman Toothrot. From Yammer, Hem, and Haw, Attorneys at Law. Regarding suit against Cannibal Tribe over malicious tossing of your oars into a chasm. I think we have a case here. We can probably soak them for emotional distress and possibly punitive damages as well. Hmm. Sounds like legalese. I don't think I can translate the rest. It's a gross old bottle. I don't want it. Private property. Worshipping is permitted, but please do not enter the monkey head. G.P. LeChuck. Yipes. Shish kebab. Shish kejo. Shish galeri. Yip. The artist carved his name on it. Made by Red Skull. Made by Sharp Tooth. That monkey had some piece of work, eh? Nasty case of yellow waxy buildup, though. Ugh. Yes, it's quite impressive. It'd be a great tourist attraction, <laughs> if anybody could ever find the island. What happened to your pants? What pants? How did you get stranded here? Well, I sailed here with a friend of mine 20 years ago. We hoped to discover the secret of Monkey Island. But my friend met with a horrifying and tragic accident, which claimed his life. And I couldn't sail the ship back by myself. I trained a bunch of chimps to crew the ship and sail it back to Melee Island. They were supposed to get help and come back for me. There's something must have happened. How come you didn't just go with the chimps? Weeks on a boat full of monkeys. Oh, joy! You're the only one on the island? I'm the only civilized person on the island. There's a native tribe of hunter-gatherers. Well, head-hunter-gatherers, actually. But I don't talk to them. They are cannibals, but they're not dangerous. Unless you lend them something. Did you lend something to the cannibals? I lent my banana picker to them, and they never gave it back! 
As collateral, they gave me this enormous cotton swab. It opens the big monkey head idol they worship. Not like I ever need to go into the monkey head. But if they want it back, I've got to have my picker first. It's a matter of pride, you know. Why don't you just give me the key to the monkey head? No! I needed to get back my banana picker! I'm Guybrush. I'm here to rescue someone. Well, here I am. Glad you came to rescue me. Though you might have been a bit earlier. The find on that overdue library book should be pretty big by now. Let's go! Um, that's not exactly what I meant. I sailed here in pursuit of the governor of Melee Island, who's been kidnapped by a ghost. Oh, fine. Don't rescue me. I like it here. The rain on my head, the wind at my back, the bugs on my plate. Um, well, perhaps I could take you back too. But I've got to rescue the governor first. I think she's on that ghost ship underground. Oh, okay. I told you about them borrowing my banana picker and never returning it, right? Excuse me, I've got some pressing business to attend to. Yes, me too. <laughs> Why, that's the second biggest monkey head I've ever seen. Wow. I don't see anything special about it. This is an old friend of mine, the one I sailed here with. He's lost weight. Never looked better. <laughs> what happened to him? Oh, nasty accident. He was trying to put up a swing. Excuse me, I've got some pressing business to attend to. Yes, me too. <laughs> he doesn't look good. To the Monkey Island Cannibals. I don't mind you worshipping in front of the sacred monkey idol which doubles as my home and secret base of operations. But could you please refrain from leaving messy sacrifices on my porch? Also, please do not enter the monkey head. G.P. LeChuck. Boy, it sure is hot here. Well, I'm no geologist, but judging by these conchoidal fractures, I'd say this is a piece of flint. Well, I'll check out this note while I'm at it. Herman, please return our key to the monkey head. The cannibals. It's either an incisive representation of the futility of man, or it's a log in a couple of rocks. To the Monkey Island Cannibals, please stop moving this. It is delicately balanced. Herman Toothrot. It looks like someone put this here on purpose. Ah, I never get tired of this view, even if I have been looking at it for 20 years now. Even if it is the only view on the island. Yes, it is a nice view. Excuse me, I've got some pressing business to attend to. 
Yes, me too. <laughs> I don't see anything special about it. Hey, I can see my ship from here. What a hunk of junk. Whoops. Mr. Toothrot, please remove this dangerous object. Lemonhead knocked a rock onto it from the cliff above and nearly injured someone who was putting up a swing on the banana tree on the south beach. The Cannibals. There's some debris to the left. And the big tree on the beach to the right. I can see that big banana tree on the beach. I'll just put it here. Wow! Looked like it hit the big banana tree on the beach. I bet the odds against that are incredible. Boy, it sure is hot here. Flint works best with things made of steel. Looks strong. Looks sturdy. It's a pair of oars. And I can't reach that from here. No bananas here. Thank <laughs> you. 
Some bananas fell off the tree. That's strange. It says Sea Monkey. I can paddle it with these oars. Cannibals. I'm not giving you bloodsuckers your key to the monkey head until you return my banana picker. HT. It's an empty hut. Why? It's empty. This hut is very empty. I can't see inside from here, but I'll bet it's empty. Boy, this is the emptiest hut I've ever seen. Two ways about it. This hut's empty. I bet if I looked up empty in the dictionary, there'd be a picture of this hut. In a primitive yet effective way, it's locked. It looks big and empty. I don't want to get any closer to that thing. It might be booby trapped. It looks a little overripe, except for those nice juicy bananas. Mmm, some nice juicy bananas. All I want are these bananas. The other fruit looks a little bit past its prime. Nothing left but bad fruit. Is that a banana in your pocket, or are you just glad to see us? You've got a lot of nerve stealing from the notorious Monkey Island cannibals. You're cannibals? Well, yes. Although lately, we've been trying to stay away from red meat. Only for health reasons. We're still as vicious as ever. Oh, especially with tourists who try to steal our stuff for souvenirs. Well... What do you have to say for yourself? Don't eat me! I'm a mighty pirate! That means his skin will be leathery and his meat tough and stringy. You're of no use to us, nutritionally speaking, but... Look behind you! A three-headed monkey! Hey! Do you really think we're that stupid? I wouldn't push it if I were you. Behind you, a three-headed monkey! Ha! We're not going to fall for that old trick again. I guess we'll eat you now. Unless... If you had some sort of offering for us, something that we could pass on to the great monkey, well... Ha! Your currency means nothing to the great monkey. Do you have anything of a more spiritual value? Do you really think we want that after you've had your grubby paws all over it? Come on, you can do better than that. Obviously, you have nothing for us. 
We might eat you, we might let you go. We'll have to talk about it with the village nutritionist. Come, let me show you our guest hut. That should do it. To the ghost pirate LeChuck, we must protest your acquisition of our voodoo anti -root. We realize that it presents a hazard to you and your crew, but this is thievery. The Monkey Island Cannibals. I can't get through it. It says, if found, please return to Herman Toothrot. I think that's how I'll end up if I don't get out of here soon. No thanks. They've still got some meat on them. Hmm, this door appears to be locked. What a cute little skull! Looks loose. I can see underneath the hut. I might fit through that hole, but I don't think this banana picker will. And no, I'm not getting squeamish. I'd love to eat the guy. So let's do it. But think of your arteries. We are cannibals for crying out loud. Yeah, but cannibals have to watch their saturated fats just like everyone else. Definitely the second biggest monkey head I've ever seen. The second largest ear I've ever seen. And also the dirtiest. Ugh. It looks like a sacred idol of some kind. This is much too heavy to pick up. Let alone carry around this godforsaken island for god knows what reason. What a cheap piece of mass-produced tourist crap. On the bottom it says, Made by Lemonhead. 
I doubt anyone will miss this piece of junk. The banana thief returns to the scene of the crime. Maybe we should just eat him right now. Do you have any idea how much cholesterol is in one of these things? Now then, how did you break out of our hut, and why did you come back? Don't eat me. I'll give you anything. Anything? Hmm. We'll give you one more chance to trade something of yours for your freedom. Well... Sorry, we already have plenty of those. Hey, wow, this is impressive. Lemonhead, take a look at this. Ooh, that's nice. And it says, made by Lemonhead, just like one of mine. We should take this to the great monkey. Yes, I agree. We are very grateful to you for this fine gift. If there's anything you need on Monkey Island, just come see us. My banana picker back. But will they give it to me? They want the monkey head key back first. Ha! That'll be the day. Don't you think they're being unreasonable? It's not as though I'm asking for a lot. just looking for the natives to get them to return my banana picker. But I can't seem to find them. I have your banana picker. Hey, thanks. I thought I'd never see this again. Here, you can take this key to the monkey head back to the natives. Okay. And don't worry, I won't use it or anything. Excuse me, I've got some pressing business to attend to. Yes, me too. <laughs>
Cotton Swamp. I had a feeling that in hell, there would be mushrooms. Have you come back to let us repay you for your fine gift? Well, actually, there is something. Tell us, what is it? Money. I want money. That's not exactly what we had in mind. Is there anything else we could do for you? I need a ship. How did you get here if you don't have a ship? Well, this big rock fell out of the sky. I see. Say no more. Well, I'm sorry, but we don't have a ship. Is there anything else we could do for you? I'm looking for somebody. Here? On Monkey Island? We're the only people living on Monkey Island. Well, the only civilized people. I'm looking for 30 dead guys and one woman. I don't think I want to hear any more about it. Wait, maybe he's talking about those dead pirates. Oh, yeah. Those guys. Then you've seen the ghost pirate LeChuck and his cadaverous crew? Those jerks have been bugging us for months. Zooming around here in that creepy ghost ship of theirs, wailing and moaning until all hours of the morning. Scaring away all the cruise ship business? Normally, when we have problems with the undead, we just cook up our standard potion of exorcism and be done with it. What's in your standard potion of exorcism? Well, the main ingredient of the potion is a very rare root. In fact, there's only one in existence. We only use a little bit at a time, you see. But LeChuck stole the whole thing. LeChuck came in here and stole your root? What a cad. And I suppose stealing bananas is any better. Where is he hiding it? He's in a place beneath this island. Somewhere in a huge system of catacombs. A hellish place filled with the wailing of tortured souls trapped forever in the rock where the walls bleed and the air is thick with the rancid smell of pure evil. Tourists used to line up for hours to see it. What happened? Health department shut you down? No, we lost the key. It was stolen. Well, we loaned it to a hermit who lives on the island. And until that crusty old pantless weirdo brings it back, we're keeping his banana picker. I'm off to find the chuck and get the root. Sorry, but it's just not that easy. Trying to find the chuck 
could be very dangerous. You'd never find your way through the catacombs without them. Hey! Ixnay on the Edhay of the Avigator Nay. The what? Nothing. Nothing. Ude Uye Avhe A Apme Ave of the Atacombs K? Ari say Oh no. We could at least tell him what the head does. Well, it's a navigating tool. It's a head. It was once attached to a navigator. We've kept it alive magically, so we could take advantage of its innate sense of direction. Getting through the catacombs without it is impossible. But it's our only one, so you can't have it. I guess we have nothing to offer you. After he gave us that nice idol, too. Feel free to come to the Great Monkey and visit your idol anytime. So, anyway, Lemonhead, what was that you were saying about tropical oils? Well... I think they're having a serious discussion. <clears throat> Excuse us, but we're in the middle of a serious discussion. I know, but I really need that navigator head thing. I told you, we only have one. We don't know how to get another one. Sorry. Ah, the key to the great monkey. Thank you very much. Couldn't take that. You've already given us so much. It's called How to Get Ahead in Navigator. Well, look at this. It looks like instructions on how to get ahead. We could give him our head and use these instructions to get ourselves a new one. Yes, I suppose we can give you this now. Thanks. Looks pretty good for a dried up old head, doesn't it? We keep it wrapped in this magical necklace that makes it invisible to ghosts. Oh, look! I think he likes you. Just follow his nose, and he'll lead you to LeChuck's hideout in the catacombs. Then, get the root from LeChuck and come back here. We'll mix up a batch of our special enzymatic ghost-dissolving solution. And you can pour it on LeChuck like salt on a slug. Yeah. Good luck. Slimy and goopy. Hello, Mr. Navigator. Hello.
it wants me to go to the right. I can't reach it. Yeah, I'd rather not touch it. Yuck. That eerie looking ghost ship I saw sailing off with the governor. Uh, you wouldn't happen to have a route I could borrow. Yikes! Okay, we're here. Now what do you want from me? Hello, Head. Hello. Thank you for leading me to the ghost ship. Hey, no problem. When you only have one job, you do it well. Know what I mean? May I please have that necklace? No, but thanks for asking so politely. Why can't I have it? I've got a bad feeling about this place. I think I might need it. Oh, come on, please. You can beg all you want, but you can't have it. Pretty please? You can beg all you want, but you can't have it. Pretty, pretty, please? You can beg all you want, but you can't have it. Maybe I'll just take it. Maybe you'd better not. I don't want to have to hurt you. And I don't want to have to make you regret it. What are you going to do? Bite me? Remember, you need me to get out of this place. If I wanted to, I could strand you here forever. If I wanted to, I could dropkick you into the lava. On second thought, hey, what good's a necklace if you don't have shoulders? This feels weird. Hey, what a 
cute little ghost dog. It's got little wriggling blue hairs in it. Ugh, no thanks. Looks like Monkey Island. Fear for thy life, ye who enters. The ship sounds strange in these waters. Bah! What be that noise? Hm, must be the wind. Who dares to enter the cabin of the ghost pirate Lechuk? You'd better fear! It looks like that creepy guy I saw in the upper deck. It's a big, ghostly looking key. Sound asleep. They look like chickens. Gross, look at the meat. Why don't see anything special about it? Well, except that big glowing voodoo anti-root inside. I can't get inside it. It's nailed, chained, bolted, roped, glued, and welded together. It's locked. It's locked tight. Must be something important down there. It looks drunk. That's the biggest ghost rat I've ever seen! Yikes! I hate rats! It's an empty dish. I'm not gonna pick that up. It's covered with rat slobber. I can't pick that up. I'm not going near that monster rat. It's a feather from a ghost chicken. I can't get it away from him. find a ticklish spot on his body. <laughs> it's a bottle of ghost grog. It's a vat of cooking grease. Ugh, it's all over my hands. I've had enough. 
I'm trying to cut down on my saturated fats. Asleep. Hey, I bet the governor's in there. I can't get to it. That big ghost's in the way. They're glowing ghost tools. Oh, good, more inventory. They're glowing ghost tools. This should do it. I'll just grab this old root and be on my way. It's twisted and dried up and not very impressive looking. Better put the necklace back on the way the natives had it first. Hello, Mr. Navigator. Hello. A long walk, a brief row, and a short hike later. I did it! I got the route! Wow! Look! He's not kidding! Here it is! He's not such a wimp after all! Come on, let's go make the brew of the fermented root! Wait here, we'll be right back. Nice monkey! There it is! One squirt of that stuff and the ectoplasm really hits the fan. Fan? If you have any left over, it's delicious with a little vanilla ice cream. Good luck! Thanks! <laughs> 